he's with his mommy. Hi, Boo. Hi. Hey guys, I'm on my way to the concert, to the Mark Anthony concert. I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing. Um, pretty much the same eye look. I just have a different lip from Laura Mercier in the color Mango. These earrings on from Express. Curl my hair a little more. And then I have this kimono from Marshalls. And just a little cami underneath. And that's it. Hey guys, we're at the Mark Anthony concert. Woohoo! This is my friend Janelle. Hi everyone! And we're about to see him. We're so excited!
guys, I'm about to show you my eye look for the day, but I wanted to show you the palette itself because I don't know if many of you know about this palette. It's the Bare Minerals. I think it came out last holiday. I ended up using this one all over the lid, which is like almost like a yellow toned, a little bit of green glitter in this as well. And then this kind of mossy green on this the outer corner of my eye. And then I used Cork from MAC in the Crease. I'm going to show you. This is the Bare Minerals palette the star treatment and so these are the two shadows I use the kudos and elitist and then I use this this is the tart blush I've been talking about um, that I've been loving it's new it's called captivating actually I think it came out this summer but I really love that and then I used this butter London I don't know if you can tell that it has like a green lid it's more of like a almost turquoise green liquid liner and it's in the color British Racing Green and I really like it. It's the first time I'm using it. It's a matte liquid liner. I didn't so do my hair yet so don't mind that but I just wanted to show you my eye look. I hope you can see that green liquid liner. It's really fun. And then I did bring that darker green underneath my eyes as well. Um, my brows are Gimme Brow from Benefit and Tarte Brow Mousse 3-in-1 CoverGirl Foundation. And I also have Nude On Board Bronzer from MAC, the Captivating Blush from Tarte, and then the Moonlight Highlight from Cover FX, which will always be like a holy grail staple f highlight for me. A dose of color lipstick on in Sorbet. And on top of that, to make it a little bit more subtle, not as bright of a coral, I put Major Minor Lip Glass on from MAC, which is more of like a brownie nude. So it just kind of settled it down a little bit. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to go do my hair now and then off to work. I just got off work. I wanted to show you this lip. It's from Bite Beauty and it's called Glacy or Glacy. I don't know. G-L-A-C-E. It's one of their matte lipsticks and I really loved it. It was on Kendra Vlogs favorites. Um, I'll put my glasses off. Last week I re look really glowy. Of course, we were out of stock of it at work, so I didn't buy it, but I wanted to get your opinion. What do you think of it for fall? Also, I exchanged my Becca brush, the all-in-one. I didn't really like it. It was $50. Um, I got my 55 brush, my favorite. with a, It's a new handle with a leopard print, and I got some money back, too, which is always good. And now I'm going to go have dinner with my parents. For breakfast today, I had two of these Kashi blueberry waffles and just like a cup of milk. Um, for lunch today, I am having this quinoa and brown rice from Seeds of Change. I get this at Costco. It's organic and, um, you know, really good in protein for you. And it tastes so good. I love these. And they're, they're just microwavable. There's two servings in each of these. So I have a serving for, you know, another day and then one serving here. It's about a cup. A brown rice and quinoa and then I have about a cup of green bean salad here my mom makes this and it's so bomb it's just fresh green beans a little bit of egg a little bit of potato and I think um, vinegar is what she uses and some spices it's just like a cold green bean salad and it tastes so good so this is what I'm having for lunch and I'm having about a half half of this um, peach sweet leaf iced tea which is my new favorite tea Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you my Erin Condren planner that I've been talking about, but I've just never shown you it physically for some reason. I got this as a birthday gift for my best friend Eliana, and I'm absolutely in love with it, and I've been using it a ton, so I thought I'd share with you. I love the colors on this. You get to pick out what design, what colors, what font you want for, and whatever you want to write here. I obviously put my name, and then in the inside here, you can write your name too, but I haven't really written anything there yet. This is like a heavy duty plastic and you can change these out. I'm going to do a full review and everything on this planner. I just want to quickly show you it. Just show you what it looks like because I've been talking about it lately. Um, so anyway, I didn't start. I got mine in late August, so I didn't start using it till then, obviously. So let me flip over to that. So this was like the first week I started using it. I didn't really decorate this page. It was just what I needed to get done and I do these little check marks. Um, I did have this cute little sticker for dinner with Haley, and <laughs> she's eating, um, and the Mark Anthony concert, whoop, whoop. 
So September was the first month that I started decorating a little bit more. I have these washi tapes here that I got at Michael's, which I have a whole container full here. And then I have these, what are these called again? The Frixion color marker pens that have erasers that really work very well. So I have all my markers in there. And for the monthly planner, I like to mark what videos I'm going to be doing in the pink. And then in the green are all my bills. And I just do little check marks when I pay them. I have this little guy. He's very happy because it's the first day of autumn. Yay for fall. And this little girl, she's very angry because this is my period week. <laughs> TMI, I know. But that's how I'm going to like mark when it is. And then... I still want to decorate a little bit more like with the different stickers and such, but that's what it looks like for now. And I haven't finished planning out my um, what I'm going to do for the whole week of September for my YouTube. And that's in the pink. I think I said that already. Okay, so this is like this week's and I haven't really done much planning yet. But I wanted to show you I mark when I'm going to be working at Sephora with these washi tapes. And I think that looks really nice and I can really see it very visually, you know, when I'm working. So I have that all set up and then I just started, to, um, you know, making lists. I haven't really put everything in for this week yet, but that's the start of this week. And then let me turn over to when there's a birthday so you guys can see what I do for birthdays. Okay, so like anniversary I didn't have a, a cute little sticker like this birthday one so I just took one of the extra ones and wrote anniversary so that's what I do for big events like have the bigger stickers that say the birthday or anniversary and I'll show you in the back of the planner there's a ton of areas for notes and then there's these blank really beautiful pages too and then these are the stickers I've been using they give you a whole thing of birthday ones. As you can see, I've been putting those in. These say day off, like a doctor's appointment. What else? Party, vacation. And see, I take these extra ones to put special things that I really want to pop out on my planner. These are all just blank. And then this is a little pocket. And these are the little stickers that Eliana got me too. Super cute. Not that this is just a little plastic pocket. I'll keep sharing with you as I continue to decorate my planners, um, my planner pages. Maybe I'll try and share them every week with you guys. But I haven't done that much yet except for, you know, what I showed you. So I just got a package from my friend Stephanie Flourish XO here on YouTube. I'll leave her link for her channel down below. But I wanted to share it with you guys. She sent me a belated birthday gift. And it was so, so sweet of her. And I wanted to share it with you guys. She sent me this super cute cupcake card. Is not is that not adorable? And of course she, you know, gave me a little message inside. And even the envelope has little cupcakes. So cute. Then she sent me a Quo by Orly nail polish in the color cream. Just this gorgeous purple color. I think it's super pretty for a transition into summer, fall. You know, it's just really pretty for either of those seasons. She sent me a mascara from Gosh Cosmetics. This is Darling Lashes Extreme Volume Mascara. I'm guessing she really likes this and I'm excited to try it. And then, this is probably the thing that I'm most excited about. She sent me a Lee Swatier item. It's the Feline Lacquer um, in, what's the color name? Rouge. I think that's what the name of it is. Really beautiful packaging. It has leopard print down the side of it. And then, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This is like a rose gold, too. I don't know if you can tell with the leopard. And it's this beautiful red color. And let me make sure it says rouge on the bottom here. Feline lacquer. Maybe it's feline is the color. I'm not sure. Sorry, guys, but isn't that gorgeous? And I actually tried it on. And I have no other makeup on, though, so I'm not going to show you right now. But I'll wear it in a video. It reminds me a lot of the Lime Crime um, matte lacquers that they have. It goes on so smoothly and it stays really, really well. So thank you so much, Stephanie. I love all three of my goodies and my cute little card. And it was so sweet for you to send me that. So thank you so much. Hey guys, I just finished my makeup and I straightened my hair. It's still in clips though, because I just finished my makeup. And I'm about to film my extension video that's gonna go up this week. 
Um, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. I just wanted to share my makeup with you real quick since I'm in front of my light still. And I just like doing it on my makeup stand now so I can show you the products too. Um, so I am wearing this on my lips. It's the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color in Pink Taupe. It smells so yummy, like pure vanilla. And I think it's kind of like a Kylie Jenner lip that everyone wants to have right now. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I love it. On my cheeks, I'm wearing my Opal Highlight, which is like, ba-bam. <laughs> um, nude on board bronzer, which I think I only have like one or two more uses before it's all the way gone. Sad face. Um, my blush is captivating from Tarte because I'm unbelievably obsessed. I can't stop wearing it. Um, my eye makeup today, I used Amber Rush L'Oreal Infallible Shadow for all over the lid. And I did a little bit of my bronzer, the nude on board, in my crease. Um, did I do anything else? I don't think I did anything else. It's pretty, pretty natural, just rosy gold. And then I did a wing liner with my Jordana Liquid Liner. My brows are Tarte Brow Mousse and Benefit Gimme Brow. And my foundation is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation. And um, the concealer is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And that's it. I just made a smoothie for dinner. Um, it's a protein smoothie. I put one scoop of this whey, a scoop of the chia seeds, natural organic chia seeds, about a tablespoon or a little bit more maybe of Quaker oats. These are all natural oats. They're not, you know, no sweetener in them. A little dash of cinnamon, a little teaspoon of raw honey, and almond milk, unsweetened, and a frozen banana. It tastes pretty good. It's nice and thick, so it's going to be nice and filling, and I just worked out, so it's like perfect for after working out. So today on my cheeks, I have this Makeup Forever Cream Blush in number 210, and on top of that, I use the e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. I have my Smashbox Shimmer Highlight. I have this Mali, let's see, Lip Magnifier in Tulip on my lips with the It Cosmetics Lip Liner in Buff Nude. Um, so I tried out this Kiko eyeshadow, um, what do you call this, Quint today. And I used these two colors, but they just blended so much together that I needed some more dimension. So I used this shadow derailed from the Vice Urban Palette. Vice 2. So this is what my makeup looks like. It's just like a really soft, smoky eye. I have the 3-in-1 um, foundation from CoverGirl on. I really like this lip, huh? That's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you real quick. Look what Mama B brought me. I'm so excited. I don't have any pots and pans. I actually stole one from her yesterday, so she got me this set that matches my kitchen. Isn't it? Aren't they gorgeous? And she said this set. What'd you say, Mommy? What's this set? How much? $89 at Walmart. Advertised special. Ooh. And, and just 12 so piece know, set. February is one of the best pants i have pants oh infomercial I I, since i first got married i have i really pants, you know, i didn't know they, that they last and last i'm so excited i can cook now yay <laughs> Yep, I'm at Chipotle again, having a veggie bowl with Mama B. Hey guys, so I just found out something I wanted to share it with you because I don't know if all of you know that the Dancing with the Stars list came out today. And first exciting thing, Anthony Sabata Jr. was on that, so heck Woo, yes. Oh yeah, heck Oh yeah, yeah, my mom's happy too. Yeah. We Woo. used to watch that sh his dating show. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was on VH1 where he was like trying to find Excuse a match. Excuse me, but I used to see him in Calvin Klein advertising in his underwear, so well, that's even I, better. I don't remember that. But. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's exciting. But the thing I'm insanely, insanely, insanely jealous about is Bethany... Moda, I think that's her last name here on YouTube, is going to be on Dancing with the Stars. That's a big deal, folks. A beauty YouTuber is going to be on Dancing with the Stars. And if that's not crazy enough, she's going to be partnered with, wait for it, wait for it, Derek Huff. Oh, Are you kidding God. me? <laughs> Just grab my dream from me, why don't you? 
Oh my gosh, I'm my mom's had it here for like the last hour ever since I found out. I'm at just least, like, at least. <laughs> she's and I've boxed my friends like Summer and Trisha. I'm just like, are you great? Kidding me, kidding me. But this this jealousy is just gonna fuel me and inspire me to getting up dancing on the star dancing with the stars for myself. She's leading the way for other YouTubers, I feel like, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, insane. I just organized my scarves on this scarf holder from Ikea. has all these little holes that go all the way down. Oh gosh, you can't really see. See, it goes like all the way down, so you can hang a ton of scarves. And I needed that because it was just getting out of control. So there they all are. I kind of, I kind of catty cornered it in the closet here so that I can see them all. They used to like hang all along here but I want the extra room. I'm going to declutter this closet in this corner. I feel like it looks just like a hot mess on the bottom here. These are my empties and these are all things for giveaways and to give to friends. And then these are extra purses. And then this side of my closet has become all my like office supplies and things. And then above, you've seen this before, all the purses up there. And then those are some extra jewelry and robes. I'll back up so you can see. It's pretty empty, the closet, other than that. Other than the hot mess on the bottom. Guess what, guys? I'm on my way to work, and I got my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. I'm so excited. Um, I did only get two pumps instead of four pumps of the syrup that goes into the pumpkin spice latte for a grande. They usually do four pumps and I got I asked them to do two with a non-fat milk and no whip um, because I love my pumpkin spice lattes but they have a lot of sugar in them and apparently there is a lot of something bad in the syrup like I forget like corn syrup or something like that. My best friend told me about it so gonna be very limitedly drinking them this season but I'm still really really excited I can't wait to drink it so today I decided to do another smokier look I used this five-in-one um, bare minerals cream shadow for my base and then I used the Bobbi Brown shadow isn't that gorgeous um, in the color violet or velvet plum and then on my cheeks, I have the Sonia Kashuk Sunset Blush. I also have Superb Highlight from MAC. It's a skin finish. And then I have my new Appeal Cosmetics lipstick that I got in my BoxyCharm box in mock-up. So now I'm going to show you my face real quick. And this is what my eye looks like. I don't know why, but I've been kind of in a smokier eye mood this week. Um... And then there's the highlight and blush and bronzers nude on board. I love the lips. So I used also the It Cosmetics lip liner in Nude Light Medium. It says Nude Light Medium on here, but I'm pretty sure on the package it says Buff Nude or something like that. I'll have to look it up and link it below because that's not what the box says when you go to Ulta or ItCosmetics.com. Um, but I really like this combo. It's a very pinky nude, but it still gives that very like pinup lip. And then the liner I used is Jordan. I just did a teeny bit of a wing, nothing crazy. And I just used that Bobbi Brown shadow with this cream shadow blended into the crease a little bit to make it very soft and smoky. Um, then I did use a little bit of my bronzer in the crease to blend it out, but not very much. My brows are the Cosmetics Brow, um, not pomade. What's it called? brow mousse, this stuff here, and then I did use a little bit of my Gimme Brow from Benefits. Um, I think that's it. I used the 3-in-1 CoverGirl foundation and a little bit of my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint underneath that. I used a very small amount of the CoverGirl foundation. I think that's it. I'll see you guys later.